to 72T. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what does an antenna booster do? So this little thing right here. So we're going to discuss what that does and so on. So first of all, how this all works is down here. Let me get it on camera. You plug in your USB right here and this will give power into the device here. This end goes out to your antenna and this end goes into your TV. So we're going to do a test. One of them is going to be without the power plugged in. See if we get any more channels without it plugged in. And then we'll plug the power in and see if we get any extra channels right there. So we'll do a video on that and um, see if there's any bonus channels. Now this is in America. So this actually says 50 miles, which I think is equivalent to 80 kilometers. So we'll see what we can pick up with this little device. And the antenna we are using is the one just up there. So yeah, that little black thing at the top there with the white wire, that's the antenna that we are going to be using. So let's um, turn the camera around and set it all up. So just to show you what the box looks like and what you get into the box is basically you get a power plug, you get your USB, your booster and your antenna. And that's basically it. So we're going to do a test first of all without the power. So let's go over to Freeview now and um, go to DTV and let's show you what it all works. So as you see I've already tuned it in but we're going to do it again just to show you to see if we get any bonus channels and so on. Um, and let's go check. So let's go... Auto, and we just want to select DTV as analog is not lo no longer available in the area. So we want to do that, and let's see if we can pick up any bonus channels. Now I'm not too sure what. There we go. So we'll see if we get any bonus channels. Now this shouldn't take too much longer. I think last time I scanned this, we got about 28 channels. So we'll see if we get something very similar to that. But yeah, this is very interesting if you want to boost your signal, and um, or you've got an antenna and. There's no signal, it just keeps going pixelated. A booster can help that out quite a lot. So yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a test on it. So at the moment we've got 22 channels, 28 channels, and I'm pretty sure 28 is the maximum without a booster. So we'll just wait for that to go through. Now you can buy all sorts of boosters as well. You can buy ones for big antennas and so on. And it's worth a try, that's why I wanted to do a bit of a video in today's video, just to give you a bit of an idea how much it does improve. So as you see, we've scanned in 28 digital channels. So let's go see if any of them are pixelated, and let's see what we've actually got. So we'll hit exit there. So as you see, 10 bold, it's a bit pixelated at first. And let's go take a look what we actually have by hitting the list button. So we've got ABC, we've got Pretty much everything, channel 9, channel gym. Yep, they all work. Yep, so they all work. So it's basically picked up all the channels. So let's go back um, and go do another scan, but this time I'll quickly go plug it in. So let's head over to settings and we'll go to channels. Okay, and then we'll go over here. Now I'll just quickly go plug in the power Let's see if we pick up any extra channels. Okay, so that's been plugged in now. So let's see what extra channels we may pick up or if we pick up any. And this will give you a bit of an idea if it really is worth getting a booster. So let's see what results we get. So again, DTV only. And let's start this off by hitting start. Okay, so straight up, we've got nine channels, 15 channels. So we've got to beat the 28 mark. Now I didn't pay attention what I had on the radio channels, which that's not really important anyway. So 24 channels, straight up, we've got more channels. So as you see, we've already got 31 channels. So what can we get it to? 37. Now it does help, as you see at the top there, it does help where you are facing your antenna. So I'm actually, that's actually heading east. Now the tower is actually west, okay? So if you put um, that in the west position, you probably really would pick up all the channels. Now it's picked them all up anyway, so it's picked up the whole 37 channels, so that's great. Right there, and I don't think we can get any more than 37. Let us know down below what you guys get, but I'm pretty sure 37 is the correct number. And we'll definitely check the 10 bold and see if there's any pixelation at all over there.
And yep, that's pretty much it. So now let's go back to 10 bold and see if there's any difference with the pixelation. So yeah, a little bit of pixelation there, but it seems the channel is fine just like before. Um, we've got, okay, that doesn't make sense. We'll start back at one. It's jumped from uh, bold to nine go, so I'm not sure how it's done that. So there you go, we've got um, bold, we've got ABC, yep, we've got SBS1, yep. Uh, yep, we've got seven Brisbane. Yep, channel nine. They seem to be running all smoothly right there. Let us quickly go through these as fast as we can, just to see if there's any pixelation. And so far, this is actually a pretty good result. And as you see, no pixelation at all. So it's just like you have a normal antenna on your roof, really. It, it, it honestly does a great job right here. Uh, yep, seven's working, yep. Nine go, uh, nine HD, yep, fine. And that should be nearly all of them. Yep, that's all of them. So that's it all there. Now we're gonna go back, unplug the power, and see if there's any pixelation. Yeah, there should be one channel that we are missing, because before we got 28, and now we got 37. So obviously there must be some channel that it is missing. So let's see if we get no signal on any of the channels. So far, everything is working perfectly. Yep, so they seem to all still be working, um, pretty good condition. Yep, so they seem to all work. So yeah, very interesting. Not too sure why we're getting extra channels, what it is, but they seem still to work, all the channels. But boosters are very helpful. And if you do want to boost your signal, um, this definitely is a good thing to go ahead and try and do, um, to boost your signal right there. Um, it obviously does add some sort of extra channel. Don't know what, um, because we at first we got 28 and then we got 38. So not too sure what's happened there, so it's obviously found some extra channels, but they seem to all be wanting, running without the booster. Not too sure what's going on there, um, but again, boosters are pretty good to test out and see how they are. And if you ever want to get one of those indoor antennas that stick on your wall, honestly, this one works absolutely awesome. Like, it's better than an antenna on your roof, it really is. Again, it does matter on the area, so if you're in a bad coverage area, it may not work. The booster should work because it's meant to go up to 80 kilometers. Now that's quite a distance, okay? So yeah, it's something to definitely give a try, have a little look at. Uh, but yes, the antennas that stick on your wall, I definitely um, agree, they are really good and they work perfectly. So if this video helped you guys out at all, or if you've got any questions, let us know down below. And thanks again for watching. Also, if you go to GBT Netgo, we are giving away the analog modulator from now to the 30th of May. So if you want to apply for that, just go to the GBT Netgo website and click on giveaways and apply to win. Thanks for watching.